Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiki and today's video we are going to be doing a birthday book haul. It was my birthday last weekend and I got so many new books. I'm so grateful, so thankful to all my book besties and everyone that surprised me with book mail over the week of my birthday. I just still to this day cannot get over how amazing the book community is. It's absolutely incredible. I have so many new books that I now need to go and reorganize my shelves because some of the shelves are full, some shelves need to be rearranged. I'm a little overwhelmed with it all so I'm kind of just throwing books on my shelves for now until I'm ready to tackle that task. So here are all my books that I got for my birthday. I've just kind of thrown them all into a pile here. I don't really know when I got what. So I'm just going to kind of go down the pile and show you all what I got and what I'm excited to read, what I may have already read and who I got them from. And I'm going to post little shout outs for all my book friends who did buy me a book and I would love for you to go over it and follow their pages on Bookstagram. And my first two books that I got were actually from one of my best friends. She's an avid reader like me, but she does not do social media. She got me Sinbin, which I did just read on my Kindle last week, and I absolutely loved this book so much. It is a hockey college romance, and I'm telling you now, it's like one of my favourites I've read. There are a couple of things in here that I didn't particularly like. One of my least favourite tropes is actually in this book. Once I got past that though, it's a great book. I loved it. The main characters love M&Ms, so I suggest going and buying a bag of M&Ms when you read this book because it's exactly what I did. <laughs> as soon as I read M&Ms a few times, I was like, okay, I need to go buy a bag of M&Ms now. The next book that my girlfriend got me as well was A Den of Vipers. I have not read this book. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this one. I know it is a RHY Choose book. She's quite a chunky book. I didn't actually realise this book was so big. I've heard it is just like pure spice. Like just, it's just full of smart. So, I mean, who wouldn't love a book like that, right? I heard the female main character is like really badass, which they're my favourite types of female main characters. So I'm very excited to read this book. So these two books were from my best friend and I'm super thankful to her because I just so happy that I can put these on my shelf now. My next two books that I got are actually from my mother-in-law. They are The High Mountain Court and The Witch's Blade. I love this series so much. I have not read book three, but I do have book three up on my shelf already as I picked that up from Dimmix. It was a signed copy I found on the shelf, so I just snatched it up because it was the only one there that was signed. I finally have the first book and the second book to go with that series now. This is a series that I do recommend reading if you are a first time fantasy reader. The world building is very easy to get into. We've got witches, we've got fae, you've got some romance in there, bit of political drama. So I do highly recommend this and I'm stoked that I now have the full set on my shelf. My next book that I got was from the amazing Annabelle Reads on Bookstagram, one of my besties. This book is Drive by Kate Stewart. I have to admit, I have read this series before. It is one of my favourite rock star musician romance. It is amazing. The tension is great. The storyline is great. I really, really enjoyed this series. I now have to go get the next two books so I can complete the series for my shelf. I will definitely be rereading this one now that I have the paperback because again, I read it on Kindle Unlimited. So I'm super stoked to have this in paperback. I have this thing where if I read something on Kindle Unlimited, I want it for my shelf if I love it. So I'll go and get the paperbacks, but then I want to reread it to experience it all over again in a physical copy. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I definitely do. My next book was from Reading Re on Bookstagram. This book is chunky. It is so big. And one that has been on my TBR for a little bit now. Again, I've heard great things. Pucking around. This is a hockey romance. And from what I believe, I don't think it's a college hockey romance. I think it's just straight up hockey romance. I know it is a Why Choose RH book. I've not read a Why Choose hockey romance before. So this should be interesting. But look how thick she is. It is one 
thick book. I think it sits at 735 pages and the writing in this paperback is tiny. Like I don't even think there's a way around reading this without breaking the spine. Like I know you can train the book and do that trick where you pull down each side until you get to the middle, but I still think the spine will break on this because it is such a heavy book. I'm telling you now, I don't think I own a book this heavy. I can't wait to read this. I think I'm gonna pick this one up after I finish my current series that I'm reading because I'm so excited for this book. My next book that I got was from the amazing Tia from Bookstagram as well. When the Stars Come Out by Scarlett St. Clair. I love Scarlett St. Clair so much. I have most of her books up here already on this shelf. This is one of her first books she wrote. I believe it's YA, this one. She just re-released it with the new cover. They say the night through human eyes is beautiful, peaceful even, but I am not human and when stars come out, so do the dead and those who hunt them. It sounds so interesting. It's one of those books that I'm just excited to read because I love Scarlett St. Clair's writing. So it's, it's just an auto buy for me and I'll definitely be reading this one. And I'm super grateful for Tia because I know she knows that I love Scarlett St. Clair. The next book that I received was from the amazing Elizabeth on Bookstagram as well. First Down by Grace Riley. This book has a lot of hype on Bookstagram at the moment. I think everyone that I follow got an arc to this copy, has read it and has rated it really well. It is a college football romance and college football romances were like my thing before I got into hockey romances. So I'm very excited to go back into a football romance. I love college romance so much. I have a whole shelf Full of college romance. It's one of my favorites. My only thing, and this is me being super nitpicky and just super like a little weird, but I'm not a huge fan of cartoon covers on college romances. I believe college romances should have model covers or discreet covers that are like Megan Brandy's discreet covers. Actually, hang on. I know Grace has just announced that she is releasing this series with model covers as well. So I'm really, really happy about that. I love having the option. We believe that college romance should either have model covers or discreet covers kind of like this. I do love a cartoon cover when the book matches a cartoon cover. I hope that makes sense. I think that makes sense because it does for me. My next book that I received is from the lovely Stacy from Bookstagram as well, Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I've heard such amazing things about this book. I hear amazing things about all of Christina Lauren books. I've only read two, The Unhoneymooners and Something Wilder, and I loved both of those books so much. I don't know why I haven't gone on a Christina Lauren binge. I'm so excited to have this book on my shelf to add to the collection and to read it because it's just one of those books that I hear everywhere that it, it's a must read. My next book that I got is from the amazing Sam from Bookstagram as well. She's like one of my OG besties. I love Sam so much. Fire Thread by Lucy Score. I am very excited for this book. It's another chunky one that I wasn't expecting to be so big. Sam read this last year, I believe, and reviewed it on her page. And it is the reason why it's on my TBR from her review. So it's just kind of cool that it's like a full circle moment because she got it for me for my birthday as well. I think after I read Pucking Around, I'm going to go dive straight into this one. Got a lot of books to friends who have rated this one five stars. So I have high hopes for this. My next book that I received is from Brooke and Danielle, The Books That Bind Us on Bookstagram, Too Wild, Too Tame. I have not read this series yet by Tessa Bailey. I do have the first book, Too Hot to Handle, on my shelf. So I'm very excited to collect this whole series and then just dive in and binge it. One of my book besties, Danielle Reads Romance, has read this series and she thought highly of it. So... It's another series that I'm excited to eventually read. It's just on that never ending TBR. My next book that I received on the same week as my birthday week, I don't think it was a birthday book and I'm super thankful. It's from Sar Reads Romance on Bookstagram as well. Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. I love Tessa Bailey. I actually did read this book as a arc on my Kindle, but it is one that I've been wanting for my shelf so much since I read it because I did thoroughly enjoy it. And I know book two, I think it's Natalie's book, is coming out in a couple months or next month possibly. 
I think our female main character is curvy representation done right. So well written with the curvy representation in this book. So I highly recommend this one and I'm super thankful that Saad just randomly gifted this to me. I also got gifted the hardcover set of A Court of Thorns and Roses series by my husband. They're actually on the top shelf here already. I am going to move them around and pick a different shelf for them when I do reorganize my shelf. I also want to go buy dust jackets for them now. I actually love the original dust jackets they come in because I do have the paperback set already. I want to go get cool dust jackets. I'm thinking the nerdy ink dust jackets but I'm not completely sold on that yet so I'm gonna have a little shop around. I might buy a couple of different copies of dust jackets and switch them up every month. I don't know yet, but I am so stoked that I have the hardcover set of that series because it's an all-time favourite for me. These are all the books that I got for my birthday. It is a heavy, heavy pile of books and I am just so incredibly grateful for all the surprise birthday book mail. I actually can't believe I got this many. And I cannot wait to go find spots on my shelves for all these books and to reorganize my shelves. It's just a very overwhelming task. Thank you so much to all my book besties on Bookstagram for gifting me these books. Thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday, sent me a DM, shared a post of mine to wish me happy birthday, everything like that. The absolute birthday love that I received on my birthday weekend was... It really blew me away and I just love this book community so much. I hope you enjoyed this video friends. Please give it a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.